Hi, welcome to my channel about embedded systems, robotics and physics technique. This video is obviously focused on my robotic arm with pneumatic hand. And last time I added an LED with resistor to the pitch sensor. So now I am not just um, dependent on the software to signal when the pitch is reaching this, but I can also see uh, via the LED, which uh, brought on the idea to do the same with these uh, pitch sensors for the hand itself, not um, just this one, but also right and left or left and right, no matter which one. Anyway, I've done some preparation, so now I have to solder um, the stuff and make a connection to this ground wire. So how that is going to end up, I'm not quite sure, but let me anyway uh, fix those LEDs. Now this is the screencast version uh, with the iron head camera, um, camera pointed to my working space where I'm going to solder, then the terminal for a Python output, Python code, and a diagnostics interface. But first, uh, preparation for the LEDs, which you can see here. With this primary soldering done, the question is, how are they going to end up here? So, putting resistor on this end, bending it, then wire has to go from here to here. And with the other one, exactly the same question. So, this is about yeah, how long? So let's measure it with actual wire. Then I will need something like this. And equally here. So yeah, twice this wire and I will be fine, I think, and I hope. So let's see how uh, stripping this and putting this to the LEDs will work out. And with these preparations done, I still need to fix them and mount them on here and on the other side. So that's what I'm going to do next with both of them. And then of course see if it actually does function. Because it's a nice idea, but it still has to be proven. And since this one is functioning, I expect these ones will as well. So let's see about that. And one quick result is that both LEDs are burning, which is impossible because, or it should not be happening, only this one should be burning because this one is not activated. So when I press this, this one should go off, which is not happening at all. So I have, uh, let's, okay, this one is not getting um, switched off either. So there is an idea problem or a wiring problem. Because this one should be off, and this one 
should actually be on indeed but on uh, off on uh, and that's what's happening so my idea something is not quite correct and another check is of course using the diagnostics interface to see if things actually do work out because now the diagnostic interface or the power isn't even running well the system is powered on but it's not controlled yet so let's shrink this window bring forward this one and let's see what's happening And now I have to choose this, and that is, it should be all right, yep, that is all right, so let's check out. This isn't right. Uh, well, that is functioning, but the LED isn't functioning, isn't corresponding. So I may have to um, to uh, well switch the wires. Let's see how that ends up. So although the lighting is not very good, it is uh, an excellent condition to uh, demonstrate the LEDs. So with the wiring changed and all LEDs now wired the same, which means in the red and white to uh, ground, this one is functioning, this one is clearly functioning, and this one is clearly functioning and also um, visible via the diagnostic interface so software uh, using software would work as well the only thing now is fixing this uh, wiring connection because right now it is just with twisted wires around another wire and then um, um, right now um, well not safe connection so i'll have to do something about that one but the primary idea leds on both pitch contacts that has um, a good result but let's see how we can solder that one and nicely and when you think you've had it um, this led from this switch turns out to be broken I do have a replacement but uh, how to replace it without undoing everything I can just solder an LED on it and then remove this one because this this one is actually correct uh, I hope it is visible on the screen yep it is okay so that's the uh, next thing to do because I want all LEDs to be correct and this one isn't so that's another um, challenge and I don't even have to move the whole um, arm now because that's not the focus of this episode but it's a nice way to go with some uh, effort considerable effort I managed to replace this LED so it's burning now um, and testing shows that it indeed is functioning so that's good 
These two are functioning as well. Although this one you can't see properly, properly right now. Now you can, both in diagnostics and in reality, and this one as well. So that's it for this electronics and I haven't done anything about um, actually running the stuff so let me conclude with that. That means um, shrinking this one because then you can also see this camera. This one has to be disabled and the supports, which are still in place, have to be removed because otherwise it won't run. So let's do that and make a nice um, run out of it with um, re replacement of this camera. Or not, I'll see. So with this, um, with this result, you can clearly see that here's a weak point. Uh, I need to fix this somehow. And the hand. Um, some fingers respond. This one responds. This one. And sometimes this one. This one does not respond. Um, so I need to fix this next time. But overall... Um, does the pitch work? I didn't notice. Um, everything should be working, but um, this I didn't see. This I did not see. Um, I don't know why. I need to check all signals once again. For now, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, give the video a thumbs up, click the bell for notification. Um, Leave a comment or suggestion, very much appreciated. You can also follow me via Twitter and Instagram. Um, please take a look at my website for more visiting projects and more embedded systems and robotics projects. You can support via Ko-fi, PayPal and by becoming a patron for as little as two euros or two dollars a month and Ko-fi for as little as three uh, euros. Uh, donation. Um, this is obviously going to be continued. For now, have a great day, take care, stay safe, bye.